places getting pretty cool from mid-September, that's for sure. So it's been a nice break from the heat, though, either way. The heat's coming back. Don't you worry. It's coming back this weekend, but we will have a couple more days of some fall-like weather, uh, especially more so as we get into Thursday. And so I'll get to that in just a little bit, but we do have another little opportunity for some drizzle, maybe even some very, very light it's rain. warmer than yesterday. It's all going to be pretty mild. Plenty of sunshine. Patchy cloud coverage, though, out there as we overlook Irvine, and it's about 70. So all temperatures feeling pretty nice. So we're at about 65 up into Santa Clarita. Got cold there overnight. Got down to about 50 degrees this morning and Covina got down to 49 degrees. So we are definitely seeing that cool off in the overnight hours. We're going to talk about how much cooler it's going to get in the coming days. We have breezy weather, a little bit of drizzle coming back, and then how warm it'll get back over the weekend again in just a bit. Philip, I'll send it back to you for now. Okay, Brianna. Her jacket in the mornings and then hey, just mild sure and nice in the like afternoons with some 70s. And Today's going to be a couple degrees below. warmer, but we're going to get back to the warmer temperatures by this weekend and beginning of next week. For now, though, we're going to enjoy this. We do have a little opportunity for some drizzle or some light showers as we get into mostly Thursday. There's a little potential for drizzle tomorrow, uh, but there's also going to be a small chance for thunderstorms Thursday too. I'll show you all that in the model. And if we do see that, we might see a little bit of flash flooding of our own here. Very unlikely, but just know that that is possible, of course, if we get a thunderstorm because the system's moving so slowly that if we do get one, it could stop and dump a lot of rain all at one time. 71 degrees over to Fullerton. Most of us won't see much at all, if anything, a couple hundredths of an inch. The low uh, 69 that changes the past few days, the additional cloud coverage, a little bit of sprinkles uh, and some breezy weather. That's all moving out now. It's lifted out to the northeast. We still have this major trough covering the west, though. That's not really going anywhere because we're getting ready for another low to drop down as we head into your Wednesday. Starts to move into the Bay Area and it'll continue to drop to the south and down to the central coast. And as it does, as we head into Thursday, it just skirts right on north of us here, mostly stopping at about San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara counties. So Ventura County is going to have the best opportunity for some shower activity or for some thunderstorms as the system moves on out. So the more north you are, the better opportunities for some rainfall. Either way, we're going to get some cloud coverage, cooler temperatures, and a little bit of breezy weather that's going to be picking up on Thursday. You can see it's just moving slowly. It kind of just sits here as it continues to move on out to the east. Stay and then finally, by Friday, the next several nights, high. a high of just 55 degrees on Thursday. Then over the weekend, we get into some 70s on your Sunday. A little bit of a breeze possible on Friday, some weak northeasterlies, and that will help warm those temperatures up as well. The high desert, getting up to about 80 tomorrow, back down to 77 Thursday. And then as we get into this weekend, we'll see those 90s return there too. But we have several more.